Okay, uh, this is a kind of a, a tip on organizing your email. Obviously, I get a ton of email. Um, you'll see a lot of it recently, the last few days, because I've been spending so much time with my YouTube stuff is on YouTube. And I'll, it really looks more YouTube than it is because you see all these things in here. Um, all of my mail gets automatically sorted for me. So, for example, I'm going to right click here in Inbox and I'm going to do New Folder and I'm going to call it YouTube. And I'll just leave it at YouTube. Okay, so you can see YouTube down there at the bottom. Now, if I see something like this, I can right click on the YouTube thing and there's this thing that says Create Rule. And in here, I can say subject contains YouTube message. Or I could say from YouTube service. Actually, that'd probably be better. I'm going to say from YouTube service. And I'm going to just, you can have it play a sound if you'd like. I'm not going to. I'm just going to say move it to an email folder. And I'm going to select the YouTube folder. Okay, now if I do OK, see I've got from YouTube service, move it to YouTube. I click OK. Now I can check the box that says run the rule now on messages already in the current folder. And I'm going to click OK and you'll start to see these YouTube things disappear. Alright, and you can see it's still continuing even though most of that stuff is gone. Okay, th so what I want to do now is I want to take the next thing which is posts from my wife and I want to put those in their own folder or I can do something else and I'll show you that now. I'm going to go to create rule and from Becky Griffith, that's my wife, sent to me only. That way, you know, if she sends a message to all of her friends and includes me in it for some reason, like a forward or something, I won't have to pay extra attention. Um, and I can have it either play a selected sound or there's also advanced options. Now this thing, I can say if it's only sent through a certain account, marked as this, or whatever, I can do all kinds of extra stuff with it. I can go to my next, and now this is all the different things I can do with it. Permanently delete it, flag the message with a colored flag, such as, you know, a red flag or a green flag or whatever. And I can even have it automatically print. I can have it forward to somebody else. This is helpful if you get something that, you know, a family member keeps sending you and you want your brother to get a copy also. Um, run a certain script. Um, perform a custom thing. Display a message, etc. So I can go ahead and do next. Except if, now see it's it's really in depth here. So you can say except if it has this or you know whatever. I can go next and I'm going to call this rule from Becky and I'll do finish. Now if I go up to my tools and then my where are my oh rules and alerts I can run all of my rules now or I could just choose the one that I just made. And you'll start to see these messages well I've got too much stuff open but when it closes back up oh you can see down here the green flags so that way all of my green flags are going to be for my wife. That'll make them easier to find, easier to sort. Alright, almost done. So I'm going to do close and OK. So now if I click up here on my flag, all of my green messages are together. And you can see that they're all from my wife. And if I click on received, it sorts my mail by the date that it was received. If I click on it again, it sorts it in reverse order. And subject and from, etc. So there's lots of things that you can do with Outlook, but those are the, the custom rules that I think are the most important thing for an, a computer person, for a new user to Outlook, or even a, a seasoned user. Um, they save lots and lots of time. I mean, I can just delete whole folders or go through it when I, at my leisure. So hopefully this will be helpful to you. Thanks a lot.